Hatter sat back, ready to listen. As a business owner downtown, I was concerned about uh, the various aldermanic candidates, just their views about downtown and, and, you know, strengthening our downtown. I'm committed to downtown. I work downtown. And uh, I'm interested to hear different people's points of views. It was very interesting. Candidates responded to roughly a dozen questions during the session and reaction to the answers was mixed. I don't know why it came because without an open forum, people say what they want to say and there's no feedback. Some of the candidates had some unique perspectives, um, but there certainly wasn't any infighting. And, um, but uh, overall, I was fairly happy. Um, I think I'm fairly optimistic with the next council that comes in. With a crowd of several dozen CCDA chair and forum moderator Lorraine Delalonga says she is pleased with the turnout. More people than what I expected. There were some stakeholders from downtown, plus there were people in the, from the city just coming down to support the downtown questions and also to check out the candidates and see what some of their answers would be. Della Longa says it's no surprise some issues such as gas lamp lighting and parking were brought up repeatedly among other concerns. There was questions about the Monarch Theatre, if the candidates would support the Monarch Theatre, so I was very happy with that. How we could, should we bring more living accommodations to downtown? How about some of the derelict buildings? That has been a hot topic. And out of all the questions, because people could write down their questions tonight, that was asked the most. While some stakeholders have a vested interest in the issues, others use the forum as a chance to get to know the candidates a little better. We're just very interested and uh, we wanted to see who the candidates were and what they were planning to do for, for the people of uh, Medicine Hat. A second session is scheduled for Thursday evening. The remaining four people running for aldermen along with all three mayoral candidates are expected to be in attendance, although some were in the crowd Wednesday.